Hey, good morning, guys and gals. This is Mike Cricket 113. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy weekend. Uh, just what we're looking at here is the end insulator for the MFJ 1982, uh, whether it be LP, MP, or HP. Doesn't matter. End insulator, piece of plastic, uh, diamond shaped. What they got here is the end of the wires, uh, 20 AWG wire. Uh, rated for uh, 600 volts <clears throat> going through one of the holes then they have this uh, screw little uh, nut and whatnot and it looks like one eighth or whatever uh, but anyway they got that going through and uh, tied off it looks like and this is how it came out of the factory got a piece of the wire antenna wire going through this screw here so that's how it came out of the factory this wire itself is a I don't know if we can see this. Well, as you know, it's going up over my tree in bird V style and uh, down at the corner there, which is right there. Whoops. Anyway, so it's 132 feet long. Now I have over the last week or so, I've tested this uh, low power, medium power and high power. It doesn't matter <laughs> on sideband anyway, from 80 all the way to 10 meter. My SWRs, which I mentioned before in the other video, is like 1.7, 1.8, all the way across the board. At high power, all the way across the board. So, what I have uh, learned from my Elmers, that to tune this, what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to let some slack off the, the rope here. Got 100 feet of rope, I only need, what, a foot and a half? I'm going to let off some slack. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is untie this knot, take the screw off and whatnot. Uh, kind of measure, I'm gonna make a mark on here and measure to see how long that is with the knot and wrapped around, as you see there. And I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna put some more antenna wire through here actually uh, and fold it back and tape it with some E-tape, electrical tape. And from what I've heard, I gotta make it a little shorter to lower my SWR. Well, so we'll try that. We'll try that and we'll see what happens uh, later today and uh, or this weekend. And we'll test it. We'll put a nano VNA at the transformer down the other end, down that way. <laughs> and uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll experiment with it. What's nice about this, I guess in my situation, I don't have to keep lowering and raising the antenna. I could just do it all here. I'm on ground level here. So uh, we're going to test that out. We're going to shorten it. And they said folding it back is good. You don't want to cut it because if you cut it, then you gotta add to it if you screw up. So, folding it back is all right to do. It'll still shorten the antenna for some reason. Somebody uh, somebody that's more knowledgeable than me can explain that one. But uh, that's what we're gonna try and experiment with. We just wanna get our SWRs uh, a little bit lower. Uh, for 80, 40, and 20, for me, that would be great. Just to get them a little bit lower, like, one and a half, if, if it gets to one and a half, I'll stop. You know, if it gets lower than one and a half, like 1.4 or 1.2 to one, 1.4 to one, 1.5 to one, I'll be happy. Uh, and that's without a tuner. I'm getting 1.7 or 1.8. It's hard to tell on the Yesu uh, uh, without a tuner. No tuner needed for all those bands. So maybe I should just quit while I'm ahead. I'm not sure. Uh, but we're going to give it a try anyway. We're going to, that's why I said, I'm going to mark this somehow, maybe some white ink marker or white out, or do they still make white out? I don't know, but we're going to mark it just in case I have to put it back the way it was. It's Mike Cricket 113. Sorry about staring at this pole. It's a beautiful, uh, humid day here in the Northeast and, uh, you know, all the leaves are down and everything looks disgusting, but, uh, we're going to play radio because that's what we do. Everybody have fun. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you later. God bless.